YouTube. This is Katie, and I lied. I'm going to make another video. Um, Animal Crossing. Yeah, there's been some buzz on Tumblr about an Animal Crossing announcement. Now, some of us fear this may be the end, but I highly doubt that. They're on a roll because of Animal Crossing New Leaf. There has been some talk about it being on the Wii U. I will cry through a tantrum. I do not have enough money for that. Please be on the 3DS. So, I'm going to talk about ways they can improve upon the Animal Crossing. I think in the next game, some of these ideas would be a very good idea. And some concepts that may be a little crazy. All right. Well, first off, I think paths should be a town setting. Kind of like your your flag. And there should be a default path already down. And it would be a two-row path, not those thin little paths. Oh, sorry, my camera got all jiggity-jiggity. Yeah, that's a word, jiggity-jiggity. Um, so you're going to have a two-row path, and you'll already have all the bits and pieces already there, like all the different corners and the centerpiece and You'll already have all of that already done for you. It'll be like a template for the most basic path. <laughs> and you can go on the touch screen and just draw right on the map where you want your path. You can go out in the town and see if that's what you want. You can erase it and do it all over again. And it will already know, like the game will know when you make a corner where to put all the pieces. So, they'll have to come up with an algorithm for that. But, um, I think that would be a good idea. I hate putting tile down one by one, spending a whole day just put down path. I think it's ridiculous. Now, stackable items. Fruit shouldn't be the only thing that should stack. You can have fish in a fishnet of the same kind. You can have bugs of the same kind in a little container. I mean, bugs aren't that big. So... I like that idea. And on Tumblr, somebody said, why don't we just put flowers of the same kind into a bouquet? I said, why not different flowers? That would look adorable. And I thought, no, that'd be too messy. I see why they did that. But with the bouquet, you can carry it. You can put it in a vase or something in your house. You can give it to a villager. I think that's a great idea. So stackable items. Let's do this. Customizable pants and shoes. I mean, I don't know about the pants. I've never really seen any customizing on pants. I haven't really played on the male character too much. I might try that, like, today. <laughs> uh, just to see if they have customizable pants, because for girls, you don't have any. And I hate it. I want pants on my girl characters, because a lot of the stuff I wear in my daily life is pants. <laughs> I don't wear skirts that much, especially since it's winter and everything, but um, I think it's ridiculous that you can't customize shoes either, because you can customize everything else, but not your shoes. All right. What was the other one? <laughs> I had a list, but I had to delete it, because I thought I had my video all ready to go. Oh, yes, um, a bakery. This was also on Tumblr. It would be an extension of the cafe, and think, just a bakery theme character, adorable. And you'd be able to go and sit down at your table in the cafe and then they bring your order out to you like, uh, go take a seat, your order will come out in just a sec. Kind of like when you're on the island, you have to go sit down so you can be taken out to wherever you want to go. So there's that. And I think it should be just like the cafe after you order so many you could take it out in town. You can have like a little donut or a croissant in your hand and like take a few bites as you go. Kind of like with your coffee, you can sip it a few times and then it just, you're done with it. So I think that's a good idea. And I think villagers should be able to interact with the bakery as well. You can kind of see them sitting in the bakery eating something so you can learn what they like. So later when they ask, hey, can you go fetch me something from the bakery? you know what they like, and you can go grab it. And if they don't like it, they'll give you a hint like, oh, it's buttery and flaky, and you're like, oh, croissant, should have known. So there's that. 
And I thought a library would be a great idea. And you're thinking, a library. I'm going to read while playing a video game. Yes, because Animal Crossing is about creativity. And I've read so many fan fictions about Animal Crossing. So the library, you can go in and you can write a book. They'd have the handwriting that turns into text. And you can just write it on the touch screen and write a book. And you can write up to five books. You can connect to the internet and read other people's books. And when you mention a villager's name, they might say something to you. Like, oh, you might see villagers in the library. And they'll like be, oh, thank you for mentioning me in your book. And they do all the little flowers and happiness. Or they're like, I'm a bit too shy. And, you know, do little emotion, different emotions, you know, about how they feel about being in a book. I think that would be a really cute idea. Or you can write poetry. You can write whatever in these books. So there's that. <laughs> um, what was it? I wish I had my list. I keep looking. Oh, I didn't delete it. That's, uh, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in it. I didn't save it. No, but anyway. <sighs> Trying to think on what, what it was. Let's see. We already went through stackable items. We went through paths. We went through customizing pants and shoes. Cafe. A library. Oh, yes. Skin options and body types. Like customizing your character. I believe that your character should look like what you want it to look like at the beginning of the game. I don't want to wait until, like, maybe a month later when I get shampooed, well, not a month later, but, like, several, oh, at least a week later, you get shampooed, and then you can slowly work on how you look. No, I think you should be able to fully customize your character, like in Adventure Life, in Skyrim, and I think it should be in letter format. Like, you're sending a letter to the town you're about to move to, and it's, hi, my name is, I am a, whatever gender you are, and I think they should have a neutral gender. Just saying. You just either way. So female, male, neuter, and um neutral. I don't know which one to say, sorry. But then there's a photo at the bottom of the letter you have enclosed with the letter and it has like little arrows pointing to the hair to the eyes and it has color and style and you can change what it looks like. You can see the photo of yourself changing and um, I think they should have tall, short characters, um, chubby characters, change the skin color, eye color, everything. So the hair type, eye type, nose type, mouth, I mean everything should be able to customize and they may be having you come into port on a boat. Or on a bus, on a train, on a plane. That would be insane if you came in, like, on a little helicopter or some... I think a helicopter would work best since they maneuver the easiest. They could just put you right down. And that would be landing right where your, your tree... I, I don't know if they're going to have a tree in the new game, but definitely your town square. They just... I'm just land. So... I think that would be a really good idea. Now, I think that they should have face recognition in the new game if they have it on the 3DS. I think that if they use the cameras, I mean, they don't really use their... I mean, yes, it was great having Animal Crossing New Leaf in 3D. It was definitely a very exciting new thing. And you can use the microphone, but I think you should be able to do other stuff with the cameras. Like, you can wave or, you know, face recognition, like you're smiling, so you're doing all the little flower emotion cons, or, you know, the crying, and try to do the different emotions with the camera. And I think... That can be an option. You can have that 
and you can toggle it on and off. Like there's a special little screen. It would be like right past your your town card, your TPC. Anyway, so I think it should be its own little slot. You can turn it on and do the emotions, or you could just click the buttons like you usually do for the emotions. And I think you should be able to go to Dr. Shrunk, and he does the emotions, and you have to practice making faces at your 3DS so you do it right. So, and maybe not even the emotions, but maybe if you say something into the mic, you can talk to friends online through the mic. Because I hate typing out a lot of the stuff. Because, and plus, it doesn't even show all the text. You have to have, like, little bit of text. And you have so much you want to say to these people. Like, I have two really good friends Oh, she's having a nightmare. Sorry, I was wondering what that squeaking was. It's my puppy having a nightmare. So, anyway, I think there should definitely be voice communication in the next one between, like, friends, like, best friends. And I think they should really take advantage of all the stuff that the 3DS has to offer but if it's on the Wii U, I don't exactly know what all that would entail. But I definitely think that if they have the 3DS platform for the new game, if there's a new game, <laughs> they should have voice chats. Or maybe you can say a villager's name, except without the microphone, or my megaphone. That's definitely the wrong one. Uh, instead of having the megaphone, you could just say a villager's name and, you know, they ting, and, like walk over to you or they'd wave at you. Um, I definitely think that would be, I mean, they have it in Pokemon, so I know that it's, cap it's capable of doing it, you know. I know the Animal Crossing team is fantastic and they'll come up with a lot of new ideas on their own. These are just suggestions and concepts that others and myself have come up with that we'd like. And we all just want to know where our villagers are going to be <laughs> and have more customizing and definitely all of that. So I will wrap this up. It's already pretty long. Have a good day. And if you have any more ideas, comment.